Volunteers at a food pantry in the Bronx say demand for groceries has exploded. They worry it will only get worse if relief measures end. Betty Justino picks up fresh groceries and pre made meals from the Bronx Works Food Pantry, a nonprofit helping thousands of residents. Since her husband got laid off, she says it's hard to know where their next meal is coming from. He lost a job. We have two kids, and we have to come to the pantry looking for help. Bronx Works used to offer food pantries twice a month in the Grand Concourse section, handing out meat, fruit, and vegetables and other staples. But since the pandemic, it ramped up to every week. Now the need is so great, they added today's pop up. These prepackaged boxes of food will help a family get through the week, but if they come on a Saturday, they can choose what they want, picking up enough items to last them for two weeks. Organizers say they'll need to provide more help if Congress doesn't extend the $600 weekly federal stimulus checks that people rely on to survive. It's tough. I lost my job as well. It is really, really tough. The bills are piling up. But then, what can we do? It is very hard because people are saying, oh yes, go back out and work. But how can you go back out to work if there's not much jobs often? This community is extremely hard hit because this is the community that are working in restaurants that are closed. This is the community that's working hotels that are closed um, in all those positions where they can't work from home. In June, stats show at least one in four Bronx residents were out of work. Despite record unemployment, Bronx Works says they're doubling down, but they need more help from the community in the form of volunteers and donations. And the South Bronx has the highest rate of food insecurity in the country. Well